Hi everybody, welcome back to Sipsville. Oh my god, I cannot believe... I can't believe what's happened. Oh, Sadon is dead, he died by the graves. Uh, he was mortally wounded and I forgot to switch him back to a civilian. Uh, and he went out there like a juggernaut, trying to fight a ghost, um, and, uh, and, and that was it, he died. And uh, not only did he die, but so did Anastas, who, uh, who went out there to try to uh, pick up Sadon's remains uh, and make them into a grave, which I forgot to cancel the build order for. And then another ghost popped up, and those ghosts killed her as well. But luckily, we got, uh, we got some people in to replace them straight away. And, uh, and it's probably for the best, actually. With, with Sadon gone now, it looks like uh, Matilda has taken his room. Uh, but that's no good, actually. We Matilda is a is a new person, and uh, and we can't be doing with that. So we're gonna have to delete this personal room. Uh, we're also gonna have to delete uh, Demetrius's personal room, and we're gonna have to see who gets this room here. It should be Matilda. No, it's Demetrius. So let's delete that again, and uh, we're gonna give Demetrius the pro room because uh, he deserves it. He's such a boss. Um, so here we go. Demetrius, uh, and I think we're gonna have to move these the bed over and stuff like that. So let's move the bed into the corner here. Hopefully they'll pick up the closest bed. Uh, but it's likely that they'll come down and pick up this stupid bed. Because these people are all a bunch of dumb bastards. Um, they almost let themselves starve. Bryce is just standing around looking like a death knight with his bone armor on, and uh, <laughs> looks like uh, looks like Jordy's down here trying to chat up Matilda, um, even though he can't see what she looks like. Oh great, they've just moved the bed. That's fine. So we'll we'll get them to move this cupboard over to the side here too. Uh, let's get them to move the chair, and then we'll move the table where the chair is uh, as soon as somebody moves that. That would be great. And uh, oh come on, come on, and don't stop there. You can't sleep in. Jordy's bed. That's his bed. Jordy just got the best room for uh, for basically doing nothing. Move this as well. There we go. All set up. Jordy is all set up. Even though he can't see anything that's actually in his room, he can touch it, and that's good enough. Uh, let's also get this bed for Matilda sorted out. So we'll get get them to move it there. Uh, and it's it's off center, but um, oh god. Well, all right. Come on. Let's do it then. We'll. Uh, it's only a couple of clicks, right? And it's worth it to make things all lined up. So here we go. Move it again. Matilda's room. Matilda just has this crappy little room now. And uh, Muriel just helped move the bed. Because um, she's a beast. She's a beast with huge muscles. And, and she can do it. So that's good. Oh, Christ almighty. Okay, so we got four breads stocked up. Oh, God, yeah. Finally, finally these people are actually cooking bread. I can't believe it. Oh my god. We've got two ghosts down here and stink clouds all over the place. I don't know if that's Sadon or Anastas or maybe just like a combination of both of them. Either way, it's disgusting and it's unlikely that we'll be able to bury them uh, because uh, we got these two ghosts down here, uh, very close to Jordy's house actually, um, which means we've lost a spear and stuff. So we're going to have to get um, things going for. Uh, well, we're gonna have to get this hospital ready so that Juliana can uh, can uh, can join the party too, because she's mortally wounded. She's just laying on the uh, on the foundations of the hospital now, uh, <laughs> because she's so desperate for medical attention, and nobody seems to want to give it to her. So she's just hoping beyond hope that uh, you know the hospital will be built. And uh, I think we're gonna try to get that done this this episode. Although I always say we're gonna start doing something, and it never works out. Uh, because these people just seem to have a constant death wish. Um, and I don't know if it's because I give them too much to do, or if it's because they're just really stupid. But, um, it doesn't, it just doesn't seem to work out. I'm losing my, I'm losing my positivity now. Um, no, nah, no, nah, I'm just joking. We'll be fine. Oh my god. Um, I don't know why Anne has come down here without arrows. Um, I don't know why Anne has such a death wish. There's really no re oh my god. Um... And for some reason, just decided that she was going to go in there and, and grab Sadon's remains and take them to... Where are you taking those remains, Anne? Um, this is getting a bit creepy. Uh, you're not... No. No! Oh my god! Anne, why are you putting a human corpse in this room? Oh my god, that is disgusting. Why... 
Have you done that? You've killed a ghost, though, uh, which is good. But Jesus Christ, Anne, I, we don't want... We don't want those human remains. Oh god, that is that is really disgusting. There's there's actually um Sadon's corpse is actually in this barrel now. Um because Anne is crazy. Um Anne just I don't know what she was thinking. But um Oh my god, do we actually have flour stockpiled? Holy Christ, what is actually happening this episode? What what's happened to this game since the last time I played it? Um Anne just defeated a ghost without any arrows. Um, she just made a bunch of uh, whooshing sounds at the ghost. The ghost obviously got so scared, didn't know what to do and died. Um, she managed to get Sadon's corpse rescued for some reason. I mean, I guess they served in the militia together. And uh, and the number one rule is that you never leave your bros behind in the battlefield. And uh, Anne, I guess, just took that to heart. Went back in there and... and got Sadon, left the other ghost, uh, like an idiot, but, uh, you know, we won't go into that, and, um, and actually stashed his body in this raw materials barrel, so these bones, iron, and coal are useless now, because, um, somebody's dead body has been all over them, and, uh, that's pretty disgusting, oh my god, oh, they've used that flour, um, oh my god, we've actually got six bread stockpiled, this, this is actually a miracle, what the hell is happening? Um, let's get these bastards to till some more friggin' land here now, too, because, um, why not? While we're on a roll, Jesus, let's get some more wheat fields set up. Let's get, uh, this bread stockpiled. Let's get these people to work as well. They're just standing around doing nothing. Looks like the hospital's built now, too. Um, we've got a little bit of stone down here, but not very much. We're gonna have to dig out some of these quarries, too. And, um, actually, I think what we can start doing is let's just chop down a shitload of trees and, uh, let's make a house out of wood. Uh, we'll make the, um, hospital out of, uh, wooden, uh, walls instead of stone walls. Because we're gonna run out of stone eventually. Uh, well, well, we probably won't, but I, I just, um, I'm just getting sick of digging it all out. So let's get all this wood cut down. Let's get all this wood cut down. And, uh, oh, I wonder if Juliana's doing a bit better now. Uh, she doesn't seem to be in the hospital anymore. Um, where is she? She's, uh, oh, she's totally healthy now. God, oh, Juliana's back, back on the beat. Uh, let's, uh, let's get rid of this last ghost then. Here we go. Convert you to a soldier. And where the hell was Anne? She was just here two seconds. Ago. Oh, here we go. Let's convert you to a soldier. And, uh, and there we go. Let's go kill this, this ghost. And then at least we can bury Sadon. And, um, well, Eleanor, for one, is 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 happy as hell, and uh, and so is Bryce. Actually, Bryce is just like, oh, thank God that bastard's gone, and um, well, most of the rest of the town is too. I mean, Sadon was wasn't the greatest guy, um, and uh, and he got replaced just by a bunch of no names too. Um, let's see how Juliana fares against this ghost. Maybe she can solo it. I don't know. I don't know if her DPS. Oh yeah, Juliana, you are a fucking beast. Congratulations, that was incredible. Um, here we go. Let's get another grave up. I know, I know this is counterproductive. I know that ghosts are gonna come out of these graves, but I mean, these people—they, you know—they work so hard. Oh, we gotta remember. We don't want to. How is she doing? Uh, Anne needs some medical attention, so she should be civilian. And uh, Juliana, we can keep as a soldier. Um, so Juliana's the new sheriff. Uh, she doesn't have her own quarters because we gave it to Jordy, but that's okay. As soon as Jordy gets a weapon, uh, Jordy can be the sheriff. That'll be fine. Uh, Juliana's just, uh, we can't have a girl as a sheriff. I mean, come on. I mean, that doesn't work. Uh, that only happens in, the, like, Dragon Age Origins. Uh, no no other game in history would have a woman sheriff. Um, I'm, I'm probably lying, but um, I just think Jordy's a better candidate. So um, Juliana will just uh, fill the gap for now. And then Jordy will will take his <laughs> his rightful place as the blind sheriff of Sipsville, and that's gonna be fantastic. God, I can't wait for that. Let's finish let's finish this stone path here. God damn it! God damn this stupid town. God. Um. Oh my God, we got a bone breastplate there. Who who doesn't have his? Oh yeah, it's Jordy. All right. Auto equip. Jordy, get your bone breastplate, and um. Oh, Christ almighty. Once we get all this wood down, which uh, it seems to be coming down, we're going to get these walls up around the infirmary. Here we go. We want a, a wooden wall. Oh, yeah. This is going to be great. Try to line it up with the door for the um, 
wood carving, wood woodworking, whatever. The wood shop. And uh, let's also get a door here. There we go. We now have a hospital. I don't know if we need a bed for the hospital. Should we put some beds in here? Make it look a bit more realistic? Oh god, we could put bone beds in the hospital. That would be weird. Because, like, these people are meant to be resting and getting better, and they have, like, these really gruesome bone beds. Let's just get, like, some proper beds. Um, let's get one here, and uh, let's get one here. Oh god, this looks like a really pro hospital now. Um, well, it will once the beds are in. I, I don't know if we have enough wood for all that, but uh, but we'll see. We can always chop down some of this crap, too. Lots of uh, lots of orders now to do stuff, but that's okay. We'll leave this land tilled for now. Uh, we won't we won't make the wheat farms just yet. Let's see how we're doing for bread. Oh, six breads. God, why couldn't these people like, have done this earlier? I mean, we went through another massive famine and lost like three people. Then luckily a bunch of people immigrated um, in the middle of the famine, which doesn't normally happen. I mean, uh, you know, if you look in the history books, usually when a famine happens somewhere, people are just like, oh my god, I'm not fucking going near that place. And I don't blame them either. I mean, you don't want to go somewhere where there's no food. Um, but um, regardless of all that, people still um, managed to immigrate into Zipsville. Uh, and then we lost a whole bunch of people down here, um, which is very unfortunate. But uh, Juliana, who is actually... God, Juliana, actually, I'm starting to rethink my strategy with Jordy now. I think Juliana should be the uh, should be the sheriff because she was pretty stupid. Don't get me wrong. Juliana was pretty stupid when she was... Um, when she was harvesting all that wheat when she could have been making bread and stuff like that. But actually, if it wasn't for Juliana, the whole town would be dead. She single-handedly saved the entire town, which which was amazing. That was ab absolutely amazing. Um, God, I was... I nearly... Um, oh God, I nearly died of a heart attack during that episode. Um, it, 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 was, it almost happened. It was very close. Um... But, you know, obviously I, I survived. I, I was okay in the end. What, what's happening here? How come we can't make a path here? I don't get it. There's nothing in the way. It should, uh, it should be fine. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. We'll see what happens. Um, Alright, so here come, here come the first of the logs in from the fields, from the woods. And, uh, oh my god, what is... What on earth is that? And what? Oh, it's a grave. Oh, Christ. I, Jesus. It looked like she had a battering ram or something. That was crazy. Um, so hopefully um, hopefully these walls go up soon, the door and, uh, and the beds. And then we'll have a nice little hospital for our soldiers to, um, to just get healthy in uh, once, they, um, once they take too many hacks and slashes from ghosts. Because that's what ghosts do. They hack and they slash you with... Um, I don't know. I don't even know how they, they managed to do that. I couldn't even begin to explain. But they just do. And that's the way it works. And, uh, and oh, Christ almighty. Hurry up with these friggin' walls, you stupid sons of uh, Matilda. I should have known it was Matilda. Um, how are we doing here? Oh, nine breads. Oh, that's great. Let's, uh, let's just check our bread orders here. Okay, 20. That's that's more than enough. God damn it. And uh, how are we doing? We got a raw pork in there, and we got some raw poultry down here too. We really need to get that, s that stove, but Christ almighty, last time I tried to get this forge set up, that was a disaster. That didn't work out well at all. Let's get these stupid trees down too. Look, I'm getting like so aggressive now. Let's cut down this freaking beautiful red flowers. God damn it, I'm so angry. And these blue ones too. God. No, I'm just joking. All right, here we go. Door's done. One wall. Oh, this hospital is going to look fucking sweet. Look at these wooden walls. Nice contrast against the stone walls. I mean, it's not going to be it's not going to be totally uniform, but that's fine. Sipsville doesn't need to be uniform. It's going to be a beautiful gem um, because it's going to be so random and there's going to be a story be behind every goddamn thing that gets built in this godforsaken town <laughs> because Jesus Christ, it's been a real struggle up until now. Oh, look, they built the bed before actually building the walls. That's um, that's generally how construction works. I don't know if you've ever seen a building get built before. But normally they lay the foundations and then immediately start putting the furniture in before they actually start building the walls and stuff like that. In the real world, obviously, that's how it works. Um, you know, it, it doesn't work out so well in places where it snows half the year or rains all the goddamn time. Because, you know, the furniture gets destroyed. But, uh, but in towns, you don't have to worry about that because there's no weather. Um, God, it, it doesn't even become night uh, at any point, so, you know, it's fine. It works out perfectly well. Here we go. Um, Jocelyn, what a name. 
God, yeah. Oh, what a beast as well. Look at her go. And uh, Jordy obviously still can't see because he doesn't have his um, he doesn't have his bandana, his hairband thing for his eyes. So oftentimes he'll just be standing in the way of where a wall needs to go, and uh, people just have to sort of like gently say, um, Jordy, can you um, please get the fuck out of the way because I'm trying to put a wall here. You're just like standing around looking at nothing, and uh, and just being a bit of a uh, bit of a jerk in general. God, that's not very nice to say about Jordy. Jordy's actually a really good guy, except for that one time where he tried to like um, get it on with that girl in the hollow deck, um, and then she burst into the hollow deck. Uh, in the middle of him trying to get it on with her in the holodeck and was like, uh, Jordy, what are you actually doing in here? And he was just like, oh, I was uh, practicing my diplomacy skills. And uh, clearly he was not doing that. I, I can assure you he wasn't. But, um, you know, if you ever watched Star Trek The Next Generation, that was like the best episode. All right, so we got Matilda. Well, we got everybody building these wooden walls now. And this is, this is going to look really sweet when it's done. Look at these wooden walls. Look really pro, don't they? Look, they got a nice finish to them. Looks like they sand them down and everything. I think this is a new graphic, actually, for the wooden walls. Uh, in earlier versions of the game, the wooden walls didn't look as nice as this. But these look really nice. Oh, yeah. It's going to look really good when it's done. And then we'll have a fully functioning hospital. And... Uh, and Juliana and Anne, for now, will be able to uh, to get some medical attention. And as soon as we can get Bryce and Jordy uh, some sort of sword, once we get the uh, the iron smelter, the forge set up, it's going to be pretty sweet. We're going to be able to convert them into soldiers whenever we need them. Because, uh, God, we could potentially have like five ghosts on our hands at one point, uh, which would be terrible. But, uh, oh, God. Okay, bread production is well and truly um, getting there, finally. And uh, we can eventually get some more wheat farms as well. We've got the mills up and running. Oh my god, everything is actually working out pretty well now. Um, but man, the past two episodes were a disaster. I don't even want to talk about them. Those are like the dark ages of Sipsville. And, um, you know, we should just uh, rewrite history, really, and, and try to forget about the bad times. We want to keep morale up in Sipsville. So if anyone ever asks about Sadon, just say, who? I, I don't even know who you're talking about. And uh, except for Eleanor, Eleanor can't even uh, hide it. Like, she's so glad that he's gone. And uh, and she'll stop at nothing to uh, spread the word about how much of, how much of a bastard he was. Um, and he was a bastard. Let's uh, let's not kid ourselves. He was an absolute bastard. And he used to live in this house, but now now Jordy does. Jordy in his in his death knight armor. Oh god. And uh, and Bryce too. Oh my god. So um we should have a lot of bones now too. Um do we have a lot of bones? Oh yeah, we got four, eight. Oh my god, we got so many bones, it's crazy. We should probably put in another order for some more bone armor, that'd be great. Let's do that now. Let's get uh let's get people working on some bone armors. Where are we? Iron spider bane. Well, that sounds pretty cool. Um, okay, let's get two more bone helmets, two more of everything. We'll, we'll pimp some other people out with this bone armor, and it's gonna be sweet. We got our bone carving knife. Oh, look at that. There's a bone carving knife in there. We got the tongs made, so we're all set to go. Oh, shit, yeah, there's the uh, hospitals ready. Fantastic. Okay, great. Let's get this fucking forge down now, too. We're on a roll this episode. This is great. Get the forge set up here, and uh, let's also get the smelter and the anvil. Oh yeah, and oh god, we're so close now. We 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 are literally so close, and uh, hopefully we don't have like a massive um, famine again. Last time I put for the forge down, like that was just a disaster. Come on. Oh yeah, here we go. Eleanor is all over it. She's all over it with the wheat, and the flour. She's doing a great job. Sweet. All right. Do we want do we want a raw food barrel up here too? I think we probably do. Actually, we can put some wheat in here and stuff. Uh, that'd be good. And I think raw food stores does it. Yeah, it stores flour too. So let's get two of them in here. Just so the stuff isn't just sitting around on the ground. I don't know if I've got enough wood for that, actually. Probably need to chop down a bit more. Oh, no, there's a couple of logs sitting out there. Here we go. Get all these trees cut down, and then we should be good. Let's uh, let's at least get the uh, these two things, the uh, smelter and the anvil, built. Because we've got iron. We've got wood and stone and stuff, I think. Do we need any of that? Hang on. Let's put, uh, 
Okay, so we need three iron for the smelter. We need iron, stone hammer, and tongs, which we have. We should have stone hammer. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, as soon as somebody's ready, um, they can... Oh, actually, I didn't check. Do we need... No, we need the anvil for that. And for the... Uh, for the anvil, we need the mason's bench. Okay, we got everything we need. So, anvil should be first, and then the smelter shortly after that. And then once that's done, um, we can probably end there. And then next episode, hopefully, we'll get some, some iron equipment. We can make some armor. We can make some swords. We can make Bryce a bazooka that he can hook up to his Nintendo. He can finally play Duck Hunt. Oh, God, that'd be great. God, Duck Hunt was such a fantastic game. Um... Oh, yeah, here we go. Bread. Oh, my God. Look at all this bread. This is phenomenal. This is so good. And it uh, looks like Eleanor is making some bone some bone uh, armors and stuff like that. She's at the uh, bone carving bench. Good old Eleanor. She's got, like, a... Um, she's got really little hands, so she can get in there and make all the intricate designs and stuff. Oh, yeah, here we go. Bone helmet. Somebody's going to be pimped very soon. I don't know who it's going to be yet, though. Um, God, I, I kind of miss Malikin, actually. She was such a tough bitch. Um, maybe Eleanor can have uh, have a set of bone armor as well. That'd be pretty sweet. Or maybe we should actually give it to Juliana, uh, replace the crappy wooden set that she's wearing right now. So I don't know how good those are. Oh, check this out. Here comes the anvil. Boom. Oh, that's fantastic. That means the smelter must be... Um, what happened to the smelter, you sons of bitches? I wanted it here. Christ, I didn't cancel that order, I don't think. Somebody just decided to cancel it for me. Maybe somebody uh, thinks they're a better architect than me. Once I find out who... Oh, no, Smelter can't be built because it needs an accessible anvil, which we have now. So actually, the game canceled it. Oh, God. So annoying. Here we go. Got some iron. Oh, yeah. This is going to be fantastic. Oh, God, I can't wait to see what this looks like. I've never, uh, I've never set up iron stuff before, so... Um, let's see. Probably going all the way out here to get it too. And there's a, there's a bit of iron. Oh god, it's like totally overgrown by trees again. I thought I chopped all these down. I guess they all grew back. Let's try to chop some more down. Oh no, wrong one. Here we go. Just chop all those bastards out of the way. Oh god, we're close. Somebody just dropped off some more iron. I think there's some iron in here too. Oh yeah, look at all the iron in here. Oh yeah, there's tons of iron. Jeez, that's sweet. We're, we're literally rolling in iron. It's gonna be, Well, not roll. That would hurt, actually. I wouldn't want to roll in iron, but, um, like, physically. But, no, actually, we do have a lot of iron. It's really good. So I think this could be the smelter. Matilda making a smelter. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're up and running. That's great. That is fantastic. Let's, um, let's quickly. Here we go. Militaries, weapons. Oh, iron. Oh, look at this. Oh, we can make a stone sword. Christ, that would be heavy as shit. Um, let's get iron swords. Oh, no, let's get an iron axe. What's this? Short sword? Long sword? Oh, my God, a mace? Oh, that's fantastic. So we all we need is coal and two irons for axes. And, uh, oh, man, it does a shitload of attack damage, too. Let's, uh, let's get two of these bad boys built. And then we can arm Bryce and Jordy with them. Oh, that'd be so good. We have some iron axes. And there's no ghosts to test them on, but uh, but that's okay. All right, while that's getting built, I'm uh, I'm gonna leave you there. Um, thanks as usual for watching. Oh God, things are really picking up now. All of a sudden, everything just seems to be working. Uh, even though we had we had some bad patches, we're on the up now. Looks like we're gonna get some iron weapons out. We got a couple of people rocking bone armor, which is really really fantastic. Juliana's all healed back up and is still running around with no arrows for a bow uh, and making the uh, noises for the arrows um, to try to scare people off. And she actually killed a ghost doing that, um, surprisingly. So that was amazing. Um, and we seem to be going full tilt on the bread, too. We've got seven stocked up. Everybody seems to be committed to actually baking bread, which is very good. And uh, we're still slaughtering pigs. And uh, before we know it, now that we've got this iron um, forge set up, we'll get some walls around it. Oh, fuck. Look what I did. I'm such an idiot. I, I, I put it right against the path. That's stupid. That, do that doesn't matter, though. We'll just delete it and move these things around, and then it'll be fine. Uh, we'll get some more pig pen set up so that we can make like tons of pies and everybody will get super fat and not want to do anything anymore and it's oh it's gonna be amazing so um so stay tuned um sipsville is still going uh, surprisingly like i thought about 20 times up till now that we were gonna die but we haven't we're still going and uh oh it's looking big everything's all cramped together too i like that 
Um, but yeah, um, as usual, thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and uh, I'll catch you for the next one. Thank you.